I've never actually seen them in person, have you? No, not at all. It's on my bucket list. I think I'm yeah. going to put on mine too, just in case. But the skies are pretty active here in central Georgia today and will be tomorrow. A couple of lines coming through then today and tomorrow? Uh, more so a line tomorrow morning, early, maybe around midnight. <laughs> However, oh, oh, chair easy slipped getting out. out of that chair there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the horror walk from the desk to the, the green screen is always the most challenging as I'm doing the forecast. But scattered rain most of the day, a line of showers and storms tomorrow, and then a cold and windy blast comes in Sunday night. As you can see, I made it here safely, by the way. Yeah, woo. Uh, but we're taking a live look now in downtown and Macon and you can actually see some showers out there in the distance. Very faint. It was a little bit more drastic earlier um, when I was watching the sky camera came down and then it stopped. But that'll sort of be the gist of the day. Scattered showers possible at times. The reality is not everybody is going to see them right now in Macon. 61 sprinkles here and there. By 3 o'clock we'll get into the lower 70s and by 7 o'clock 66 and then those storms will start to develop late into tonight and to early tomorrow morning. Temperatures across the board now in the upper 50s and a lower 60s. So waking up warm. We got warm and moist air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico into our viewing area. Hence why the humidity is on the come up and temperatures again are warm. But winds are in the single digits for now. That'll change as we head into tomorrow. And looking at the radar, I got a lot kind of going on. Not a lot, but more something to talk about at the very least. We got showers that just moved out of Houston County. That's over Jeffersonville and Deanville now headed towards closer to Dudley as was along I-16, but it dissipated since then. So if you are driving on I-16, the roadways are still wet nevertheless. So take it nice and slow. Looking back towards the west, Alabama seeing some rain cross over into Georgia towards Columbus and then the majority of the rain is actually in north Georgia near Atlanta. So we're kind of looking out looking out of the rain this morning, thankfully, because we do have a lot of holiday events going on today. Tomorrow, though, really overnight towards midnight into early tomorrow morning, we are under a level one of five on tomorrow's storm outlook. Gusty winds are sort of the main concern. This is a very low end level one, but the reality is we can't rule out the chance for a brief tornado. Let's look at the future view and see what's happening. Got isolated scatter stuff happening today. And then as we head into tomorrow, that line is going to come on through, bringing us plenty of rain. Let's take a closer look at that. So this is moving through 4 p.m. today. Can't rule out the scattered stuff. And then as we head into 10 p.m. tonight, as scattered stuff continues, storms start to roll in as we hit about midnight. That's the first initial wave coming on through and then the actual squall line. The cold front is making its way in as early as 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'll be tracking that with you. Uh, like I said, we're on the level one, so that's the lower end of a severe weather risk. But like I said before, the main threat there would be gusty winds only up to 30 miles per hour, and we can't rule out that very tiny chance for a brief tornado in the mix. If it does, we do see one to be very brief and very weak relatively, and then it'll cross on over. Uh, the cold front will cross through the viewing area, then clear out as we head into late Sunday night, bringing that blast of cooler air in, cooling us off as we head into Monday morning. 31 low Monday, and then we're back in the mid to upper 50s as we head into next week.